Yo, today we're gonna to take you to a QSR, that's a quick serve restaurant. You might know it as a fast food restaurant, but we're gonna take you to this QSR install that we're doing. We're gonna deinstall the old static menu board and install the new digital menu board that has three displays. So we're gonna take you through taking it apart, sawzawing it, taking all the trash down, putting the new one back in, moving new data in and out the ground. So let's go check it out. This is in Yuba City. <clears throat> this is the old fixture. We have to sawzaw this thing apart. First, we got to take the live power and undo it so it's not live anymore. And we saw this old display down. Every day, you know, previously the <clears throat> previously the manager had to come out, menu change, a price change, an item change. They had to come out, get another image, slide it in, close it up. Now they don't have to do that anymore because they're gonna have displays, three displays on there. It's all updated over the internet. But this is the old fixture that we're taking out. We're looking for power. We're looking for a conduit so we can run um, Cat5 from that main pedestal over to the one that we're gonna replace. But it's stepping out somewhere. We don't know exactly where. We might have to dig it. Can you dig it? <laughs> Can you dig it? All right, we literally had to dig it on this one, so <laughs> here we are digging it. Keith Keith Jr. digging it up. The cable path. <clears throat> Taking out another fixture that's not being used anymore. Now right here, they're drilling at an angle through the con concrete fixture to get the new data wires through the dirt, through the new conduit, and up into the uh, middle of the fixture there, so I can go up to the screens. So we're running that new data through this conduit. That's gonna get buried here in a minute. Fishing that wire up to that pedestal. Covering the wires back up. So we're fishing the data and the power through the, through the base of that. Now just leveling it, locking it back down. You gotta make sure that thing's super tight. These, these screens weigh a ton. So that's the base. This is the top portion that holds the displays. <clears throat> so you got three high bright Samsung commercial displays as you can see. It has the fans built into the display here to keep it cool during the hot and cold days out there because it's just going to be sitting in the sun in the drive through <clears throat> Got Keith installing that power outlet. This is how you mount the display into the fixture. Got Junior here, Keith Junior securing it to the wall here, or securing it to this back bracket. TV number two. And the final screen. This is the speaker so they could talk back and forth to the people driving up. This is the old order. This is the new one where you speak to the employee inside. And that little grill in there. Dude, these things actually are pretty labor intensive too. It takes us like, you can get them done in a day if everything goes right, but yeah, it's a lot to get these done in one day. So these are all the media players. 
Now there's three media players, one per TV, so they can all have their own menu, but there's a redundancy setup. So if one media player fails, it's looped to the next screen, so it'll actually get a second feed and look like nothing happened, so you don't have a dark screen, so the menu stays up. And that's all wired behind the screen. Had to get some cable. I mean, what was the issue? They sent the wrong cable yeah. kit. So we had to go get some Walmart stuff. I almost wanted to rhyme. They sent us the wrong cable kit and we had to go get us some Walmart. <laughs> Finish that sentence. Finish that line. Uh, there's that triple player. Yeah, he, did go, he had to go buy some longer HDMI cables. Um, the kit that they sent, the HDMIs were too short. So the closest place we could find a cable out in Yuba City, California was a Walmart. Now I put on the weatherproof backing on the back of these displays. The displays are also weatherproof. So just in case something gets inside the fixture, they're good. Tamper-proof screws on the back of all those displays. Look at that, it looks clean. Look at one of the screens is up. Pedestal looks clean. Dang, look at that. We did a couple of these across the Bay Area here. So that's it, QSR install done. Three Samsung Hybrite screens, weatherproof enclosure, weatherproof screens. You got your ordering pedestal. We had to dig up the power, run new power, run new data. It's all installed, it's all done. We're out of here. See you guys in the next one, later. But that's it, man. That's so that's it. That's <laughs> okay. so that's it. That's a uh.